Hello, my name is Alex, and I want to share my dream with you. Ever since I was a young child, I have been captivated by the English language. I would hear people speaking English in movies, on the radio, and even on the streets, and it sounded so beautiful and thrilling to me. I imagined what it would be like to speak English fluently, to understand everything, and to communicate with people from all over the world. This dream stayed with me as I grew older. I envisioned traveling to different countries where English is spoken. I imagined strolling through the streets of London, visiting museums, talking to the locals, and understanding everything they say. I dreamed of exploring New York City, seeing the towering skyscrapers, and asking for directions without feeling nervous or lost. In my dream, I see myself ordering food at a restaurant, chatting with people at a bus stop, and feeling confident in every conversation. But it's not just about traveling for me. I also dream of making new friends who speak English. I think about how amazing it would be to have friends from different parts of the world, friends who can teach me about their cultures, their traditions, and their lives. I want to be able to talk to them, laugh with them, and share stories with them in English. I believe that learning English will open the door to so many new friendships and connections. Another important part of my dream is securing a good job. I know that speaking English well can help me achieve this. I see myself working in a company where English is essential. Maybe I'm in a meeting with people from different countries and we're all speaking English to communicate effectively. Or perhaps I'm writing emails, giving presentations, or assisting customers. All in English. I know that being able to speak English can help me advance in my career, earn more money, and have a better life. Every time I think about my dream, I feel excited and motivated. I know that learning English will take time, and it won't always be easy, but I also know that it's worth it. The idea of being able to travel, make friends, and succeed in my career makes me want to work hard and never give up. I believe that one day I will speak English fluently, and my dream will come true. And when that day comes, I will look back and be proud of the journey I took to get there. When I first decided to learn English, I knew I had to start with the basics. Like building a house, I needed to lay a strong foundation before anything else. For me, that foundation was the English alphabet. I remember sitting down with a notebook and a pencil, feeling both excited and a little nervous. I opened a page and began with the first letter. A, A, I said out loud as I carefully wrote it down. It felt strange at first, but I kept going. B, C, D. One by one, I wrote each letter. I took my time with each one, making sure I got the shape right. Sometimes I would say the letter's name over and over in my head as I wrote it. A, B, C. Trying to memorize how each letter looked and sounded. At first, it was challenging to remember all the letters. Some looked similar, and I would mix them up, but I didn't let that discourage me. Every day, I practiced writing the alphabet from A to Z. I would fill pages in my notebook, writing the letters over and over again. I used different colors to make it fun, and to help me remember better. I even made little songs to remember the order of the letters. Slowly, the alphabet became my friend. 
I no longer had to think hard about it. When I saw a letter, I knew exactly what it was. Once I felt confident with the alphabet, I knew it was time to take the next step. Learning simple words. I started with words that I would use every day, like hello, thank you, and goodbye. These were words that I had heard many times before, but now I wanted to understand them and say them correctly. Hello, I said to myself, repeating the word until it felt natural. I practiced saying it in the morning when I woke up. I said it to myself in the mirror. Hello, Alex. I imagined greeting people on the street, starting conversations with a simple hello. Next, I practiced thank you. This was an important word because I knew I would use it often. I practiced saying thank you for everything. When someone held the door for me, I would say thank you. In my mind. Even if I didn't say it out loud. I wanted to make sure that when the time came, I would say it confidently and clearly. Finally, there was goodbye. I imagined all the situations where I would need to say goodbye to someone. I practiced it just like I did with hello and thank you. I would pretend to end a phone call and say goodbye. See you later. I wanted to be ready for any situation. Every day, I practiced these words. I would say them while walking down the street, while eating breakfast, and even before going to bed. I would look for chances to use them, even if it was just in my imagination. The more I practiced, the more comfortable I felt. The word started to become a part of me, and I knew that with each small step, I was getting closer to my goal of learning English. The beginning of my journey was not easy, but it was worth it. There were still moments of doubt, times when I stumbled over my words or couldn't find the right expression, but I didn't let those moments discourage me. Instead, I saw them as chances to learn and improve. I would note down the words or phrases that gave me trouble and make a point to practice them later. As time passed, I started to notice real progress. I could hold longer conversations without constantly searching for words. And I found myself understanding more of what others were saying. This gave me the confidence to push myself even further. One day, I decided to join a local English conversation group. It was a big step for me, as I knew I would be speaking with people who were more fluent than I was. But I reminded myself that this was exactly the kind of challenge I needed to grow. At the first meeting, I was nervous. My heart raced as I introduced myself to the group. Hello, my name is Alex, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. The group members were friendly and welcoming, which helped put me at ease. We began by discussing simple topics, like our favorite foods or hobbies. I listened carefully trying to absorb as much as I could. When it was my turn to speak, I took a deep breath and gave it my best effort. There were times when I struggled to express myself, but the group was patient and supportive. As the weeks went by, I became more comfortable speaking in the group. I even started to look forward to our meetings knowing that each one was helping me improve. I learned a lot from the other members, not just about English, but also about their cultures and experiences. Participating in the conversation group was a turning point for me. It showed me that I could communicate in English 
even if I wasn't perfect. It also taught me the importance of practice and persistence. The more I spoke, the more natural it felt, and the more confident I became. Outside of the group, I continued to practice on my own. I would record myself speaking and then listen back to identify areas for improvement. I also made an effort to speak English whenever I had the chance. Whether it was ordering coffee at a cafe or chatting with a colleague at work. Over time, English started to feel less like a foreign language and more like a part of my everyday life. I could see how far I had come from those early days of learning the alphabet. My vocabulary had grown, my grammar had improved, and most importantly, I was no longer afraid to speak. Looking back, I realized that my journey to learning English was not just about mastering a new language. It was about building confidence, developing perseverance, and embracing challenges. It taught me that progress is made one step at a time and that every small achievement is worth celebrating. Now, when I speak English, I do so with a sense of pride. I know that I still have more to learn, but I'm excited to keep going. Each new word, sentence, and conversation is a step closer to my goal of fluency. And with each step, I feel more confident, more capable, and more connected to the world around me.